Hello, and welcome back to a new episode of John R. Prospecting. Um, I was feeling kind of sick today, so uh, I figured why not do pan in a can prescription pay dirt. Um, so as you guys could see here, it's for temporary relief of gold fever. Uh, the directions is... Pan one teaspoon to alleviate gold fever. Repeat as needed and save gold for future relief. Uh, it never expires. Uh, if I wanted a refill, I got a contact pan and a campator. Approximate weight, five ounces. You can find them on Facebook. And warning, this is highly addictive. Hmm. I don't think this is going to help relieve gold fever, but uh, I may have to call Dr. A. Goodman back and let him know if, that this probably won't work, but uh, we shall find out. So let me actually go get my panning pan, my catch pan and some water and we're gonna see if this will help alleviate my gold fever so we shall be right back all right so as you guys could see i got my pan with some water um i already got some jet dry in there so now let's actually weigh this up and see if this weighs the five ounces like it says 4.7 ounces. So there we go. So let's actually start panning this stuff out. Let's give the uh, water a little mix here. And we're going to do just like it says. Pan one teaspoon at a time. Having a hard time opening it. All right. Here's the material. And don't forget, as you guys could see here, there is a crack here. Remember when I did the uh, mail call on it? So could see some pyrite right there up on top. Let's start panning it out. We'll say that's about a, a teaspoon. So yeah, Bayou Gold Guy just did his video on this and I wanted to get mine done too. We're gonna be going through it. I think he got 0.297. There's going to be a lot of pyrite, as I saw in uh, Bayou Gold Guy's video. Nice and clean pay dirt, not that dirty. I was actually kind of shocked how much uh, gold was in that little thing there that Bayou did. So hopefully we'll have about the same. Now I have to check the prices on this, but I did add double the gold in Bayou's jar and in my jar as well. If you added double the gold, it was $20 Canadian more. And I'll leave a price for USD, what I paid for one of those. Yeah, these, uh, the Pan and Cam Pater guys, I believe there's only two gold miners that are actually on the uh, claim. Uh, they were on Freddie Dodge's. Mine Rescue TV show on Discovery Channel. 
I believe it's season two, episode nine, where they're talking about nuggets. Um, in fact, I was just watching the episode last night. The guy believes that there's like a 35 ounce nugget somewhere on that property because I guess they were finding 35 ounce nuggets before he got there. And I guess he was having a lot of problems with his uh, sluice, the land, so, and he wasn't really getting that much gold, so he had Freddie Dodge come up there and Juana Berra, which is Freddie's helper for the TV show, and see if they could get more gold. And sure enough, yep, they helped him. Seems like we're down to just the pyrite now. A lot of pyrite in this stuff. Let's see if we get any gold. Yep. Lots of pyrite chunks in here, too. Wow. Yeah, that is really shocking. I'm actually shocked that the, uh, the gold is like this. I wonder if I'm going to have gold the whole way through like uh, Bayou did. And yeah, there is some fine gold in this. be probably right I'm pretty sure it is looking at the sizes of the gold on here but well that was awesome I am gonna have to go back through that because I think there's more gold down in there but let's give it a tap to the top and you guys could see there is some gold in there wow Let me uh, show you the gold that we got. Check that out. Very nice. And there's some super fine gold in there. Lots of fine gold in there. I gotta check to see what that is. Or that might just, just might be a bubble. Yeah, it's just a bubble. All right. Let me uh, zoom you guys back out. All right, let's suck that gold up. All right, I'm gonna go back through this one more time and start pinning out some more. We'll be right back. All right, so this was the uh, second pan. Uh, again, a lot of nice, super fine gold and some flower gold in there as well. Let me uh, zoom you guys in. Check it out. Very nice looking stuff. That is awesome. So, that was the uh, second teaspoon. Very cool. Awesome stuff so far as well. Let me zoom you guys back out. And now we're going to suck this gold out with the other gold. All right. So I'm going to go through that material one more time. And we'll be right back. All right. So let's uh, pour our teaspoon out. So I actually uh, got the right prices. Um, I paid $26 for that, plus I had, uh, I had them add double the gold for another 20 bucks. So each of these were $46 Canadian, which comes to $37.06 USD. Now, 
Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, pyrite, which is that fool's gold. Looks like gold, but it's not. And it stays with the gold, too. It has that goldish color. Or it actually looks like bronze, I think. It don't have that yellow color. It has like a, a bronzish color, if you want to say. So, so far we're getting a nice amount of gold. So this is the uh, third teaspoon. We're about halfway done. I just saw actually on their website, uh, he, they're actually $24 now for the uh, fever reliever prescription bottle. And that's Canadian. But we're almost done at the bottom of this pan. Water's just starting to get a little cloudy. All right, let me uh, go back pan this and when we come back, we'll show you the gold. All right, so we got that uh, material all down to gold. That's the most I've seen in the gold pan so far. So let me uh, zoom you guys in. Such an incredible amount of gold. I mean, it is all super tiny gold. Lots of super fine gold over in here. I mean, those are some tiny flakes. I thought the stuff that Bayou had was a lot bigger than that. Wow. But that is super tiny. Awesome looking stuff though. Fun to go through. Let me zoom you guys out. All right, we're gonna suck this gold up now. Tell you one thing, it is fun going through it. I don't know if it's gonna re relieve my uh, gold fever but this is some fun stuff all right so i'm gonna go through that material one more time uh, maybe we'll paint a little bit more material and we'll be right back all right so we just got done going through that pan nice amount of gold as well check it out Let's zoom you guys in, up close and personal. So check that out. Look at all that super fine gold. Nice amount, it's very small gold. All right, let's uh, suck this gold up in the uh, snuffer bottle. A nice amount of gold in this bottle. Let me tell you. All right, I'm gonna go through this material one more time, and we're gonna pan out the very little bit left, as you guys could see, and we'll get back when uh, we get done painting that little bit of uh, material. Well, all right, we got the rest of that prescription bottle all panned out. Let me show you the gold that was left in that last little bit of material. Here you go. Not too much. So let me uh, zoom you guys in. And yes, all these little pieces that don't look like gold, well, it is. Uh, this is probably the cleanest gold that I'm showing you. The rest of it was pretty clean as well. But yeah, it's uh, pretty clean gold and very small. So uh, let me uh, zoom you guys out. And we're going to suck this gold up in the snuffer bottle. Alright, let me 
make sure we got it all. Yep, looks like we got it all. I'm going to go clean out my pan. I'm going to repan everything and we'll be right back when we're ready to pan it. So we'll be right back. All right, so I did clean out my catch pan and I got the material here and we're going to repan it. And we're going to repan it all at one time. I don't think I should have an issue with it. And there is a uh, jet dry in the catch pan just to see if we missed any. And that's just for good measure. That's all. This material is really gray, just like what uh, Bayou was saying. It's uh, very different, I'll tell you that. Especially with all those uh, big chunks of pyrite. This might take me a while to get through, but uh, we'll get through it. So I'm actually going to go pan it and we'll be right back to see if we missed any gold. And hopefully we did not. We shall be right back. I'll tell you one thing. Look at all that pyrite. Wow. I had to go through all that now to get the gold if there's any. So check that out. That is all pyrite. So I got to pan through all of that to get the gold out. Let me zoom you guys back out. All right, let me uh, start back panning this and we'll be back when we get down to the last little bit. But that's a lot of pyrite. All right, we are down to the last little bit of material up there. Let's see if there's any gold left, which I don't think there is. Does not look like it so far. Does not look like it. So I think we got all of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through it one more time. And then we're going to clean everything up and we will do our snuffer dump. So. We shall be right back when we're all cleaned up and ready for the snuffer dump. All right, so I just uh, did the snuffer dump and I just got the gold cleaned up. So now let me actually show you all the gold that we got from our pan in a can prescription gold pay dirt. Check it out. Let me uh, zoom you guys in. Look at all that super fine gold. And you'll be able to see a little bit better when I take some pictures of it. It's not really coming up that clear right now, but that is some super fine gold. Lots of it. Very fun going through this prescription bottle. Let me zoom you guys back out I for sure had a blast going through it I just don't think it's going to cure my gold fever but uh who knows like I said I'll probably have to call Dr. A. Goodman to get a refill because I don't think it'll cure my gold fever nice amount of gold here be interesting to see if we uh, got as much as Bayou Gold Guy from the bottle that he had. All right, looks like we got all the gold. So I'm going to go dry all this gold and we'll be back when we are ready to show the weight of the gold. We shall be right back. All right, so as you guys could see, I got the gold all dried up. Let me uh, show you. Check that out. 
sorry about that. There's the gold. All dried up. Lots of super fine gold. Looks like glitter almost. But there you go. That's the gold. And now it's time to weigh it up and see what we get. Make sure we don't hit that. All right. So let's put on the scale. Let's make sure you guys could see. Yep. All right. Let's put the weigh boat on. Let's tear it out. So now we got the weigh boat teared out. We're at zero. So now let's weigh it up. Point four, five, ten, nineteen. We're at point two eight five. And that's just about it. There you go. Make sure there's no more gold. No more gold in there. All right. So we ended up getting 0.345 grams. That is awesome. Um, I had a lot of fun going through. The pan in a can fever reliever prescription bottle um, was awesome going through. It was some tough material, but we ended up getting 0.345. So let's open up the gold case number two. And let me show you what we wrote down. We wrote down pan in a can prescription bottle with no grams we're gonna write down 0.345 grams all right so let me show you we wrote down 0.345 grams that is what we got so now let's put it in the uh third gold jar here nice and clean already so let's Put it in. Look at all that super fine gold. Gee, man. Awesome. Awesome going through it, though. All right, let me, let me hit it a few times. Make sure there's no gold in it. All right. There we go. Let's put our top on it. Don't want to lose any gold. All gold does matter. And now let me show you the gold. So, there you go. Uh, awesome stuff. Um, well, there you go. Bayou Gold Guy. Uh, we ended up getting 0.345. That is awesome. Um... I'm not going to do an ROI on this because, yeah, but uh, don't forget to take a look at the pictures at the end of the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe um, and hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. And be safe, be well, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.